folks. My name is Jackie Grenham. I'm the communications coordinator with the town of Labrador City. We are delighted to bring you a new video series where we go out in the community and speak with the employees for the town and learn a little bit more about the work that they do and the services that are offered. Today we are speaking with Evan Power from the Labrador City Fire Department. The boys are out flushing fire hydrants today. Now I don't know a whole lot about that but maybe we'll learn something. Let's go. So I'm here with Evan Power, Fire Protection Officer. Evan, uh, I see you guys are out flushing hydrants today. You got a beautiful day for it. Can you tell us a little bit about what hydrant flushing is? So with hydrant flushing, uh, from the fire department's perspective, fire hydrant flushing is very important for us. It's basically an annual uh, routine for us that ensures that our fire hydrants are in operating condition all over our community. Uh, from a public works perspective, it's also very important as we're flushing the water mains uh, to provide the, the cleanest possible drinking water we can to our residents. Okay, and when does the flushing normally occur? Uh, flushing normally occurs in uh, early June uh, and runs about till the end of June. Uh, we try to kind of get it out of the way because throughout the summer we do uh, uh, become very busy. Okay. So is it once a year? Uh, yes, so it's once a year, it's an annual program and uh, we do have some hydrants there that uh, we do need to pump uh, so the self drains aren't working. So we will go around in end of September usually and uh, get those pumped out. Okay, and how does this hydrant flushing affect uh, residents' water? So sometimes where we are flushing the water mains, uh, you can experience water discoloration. Uh, as we as we come into your area and basically we're disturbing the silt that's in the water mains so you may experience some discoloration so if it persists there you can give us a call at 709-944-7172 and uh, let us know that the problem uh, is continuing we can uh, come up and see what's going on and will this affect their water pressure or anything like that so yeah water pressure can be affected during these times as we're in your area as well uh, so basically we are flowing uh, some of these hydrants are flowing uh, 1200 gallons per minute uh, so obviously your water pressure can see a uh, decrease while we're in your area but it should return to normal as we exit the area we're in so does it affect water um, in the way that are you able to drink the water still? Are you able to do laundry, take showers? Yep, water should still be potable. Uh, if you do experience any water discoloration, I, we recommend running your bathtub, that is your largest faucet in your home. Uh, run until the water is clear. And like I said, if the problem does persist, then give us a call. Perfect. Well, thanks so much, Evan. We certainly appreciate the work you guys do. No problem. And uh, we know it's, it's not an easy job all the time, but uh, we thank you for doing this kind of stuff for us and keeping our water clean and certainly keeping the community safe. Yeah, so thank you very much. That's what we're here to do. We want to make sure that our hydrants are always working in the event uh, that the fire department does require to use it. And always uh, I want to throw it out there as well. Uh, in the winter months, uh, I encourage residents to try to keep them clean. Perfect. Thank you so much, Evan. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Well, how cool was that? I had no idea that there was that much involved in flushing hydrants. And so I certainly learned something today. And we are so thankful for the fire department here in Lab City. Um, and of course, firefighters everywhere uh, doing their part to help keep us safe. So stay tuned and see where we go next. Thanks for watching.